Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. NRA, since 1871, has been the foremost gun safety organization here in the United States. We've developed rules, rules for safe shooting, and we'll get with one of our top trainers, Larry Quandle, to go over those. For this week's Rifleman Review, we shoot the Springfield Ronin, which is an upgraded 1911 with a lot of nice features, but at a pretty good price. This week in I Have This Old Gun, we'll look at the original PDW, and that is the blunderbuss. But right now, let's talk about the rules for safe shooting. Last week, we covered the NRA safe gun handling rules. Rule number one, always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Two, always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Three, always keep the gun unloaded until ready to shoot. So we've got those three out of the way. We're gonna cover rules for shooting and storage. They roll right out of the three into, the first thing is know your target and what is beyond. Bullets just don't go through paper and go to the ground. Something has to take all the energy out of it, either distance or it hits something. So once it hits something, you always gotta be concerned about ricochets. So we need to know our backstop. We want something solid that will absorb the energy. In the home, you might want to consider about sheetrock, what's a safe direction, where's my family if we have a threat. And then the most complicated is outside the home because you don't control the environment that's around you. Your attacker is going to pick where they're going to come from to succeed in their attack. It's going to be quick, it's going to be violent. Always know your backstop. Springfield is well known for the high quality of its 1911 pistols, and the latest series, the Ronin Operator, is no exception. This particular Ronin that I'm holding is a 9mm full-size 5-inch barreled gun, and this is a 45 ACP. The difference between them is fairly slight at 1 ounce. This gun weighs 41 ounces, and the 45 ACP weighs 40 ounces. Now the 9mm comes with one 9-round magazine, giving you a 9 plus 1 capacity in the gun. The 45 comes with an eight round magazine. So uh, the Blunderbuss is a neat gun uh, that literally uh, is almost uh, something that's too cool for reality. Interestingly enough, the ascendancy of the Blunderbuss as a defensive arm in England really coincided with the rise of English gun making. When you look at the quality of the engraving, uh, the finials that you find on the guns, you know, there, there, there are blunderbusses being made by some of the companies that also were producing the finest in dueling pistols as well as uh, Fowlers and even early British rifles.